We, we heard the comments you were making about uh, The Undertaker and stuff. That was um, on what show Ariel was that? Hawani. Yeah, we played yeah, the audio yeah. yesterday. Yeah. We played the audio, and it was the first, like, I think, uh, uh, very candid uh, interview you had about that situation. Um, what, what, you have anything to add to that? Like, why no, that really. happened? No. And a lot of people, are you, are you willing to deny that the, if this isn't some kind of work for WrestleMania? Because a lot of people are bringing that up on yeah, websites. Why, the, why would I want to promote a show that I'm not even on? You know? Well, that's just it. Are you? <laughs> See, that's what they say, though. Well, They're like, oh, well, you yeah, know. From here, I'm actually going to Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. They won't let it go, though. We played the audio. No, I know. You know, know people no, it's, it's a work, see? You don't you know understand. The wrestling fans. But it, it Brock is saying it, it's a real fucking uh, beef he's got with The Undertaker. You didn't explain, uh, and I guess it's too personal, what was actually said, which is fine. I mean, you know, it, it's base, it boils down. It's, it's really freaking... I mean, it's just, it's really nothing other than, you know. It was such an odd just thing to nowhere. happen. Like, after that was a huge fight. I mean, obviously, you were not happy with the results. No. You walked out of there, and then to have something like that happen was kind of like, what the fuck am I looking at here? Yeah, I was, it was just a weird, it was a weird deal. I mean, it, it, there yeah. it was. I got out of the octagon. I didn't know where I was. Kind of, You know, I, I knew yeah. where I was, but I mean, it was like, and I'm walking out, and I, and I, and I had heard that he had might be there, and, and you know, so I, I I wasn't, you know, it was just one of those weird. I, you bump into somebody, and it's like, yeah, I, right. yeah. So you you really said that about me, and and <laughs> or, or, you know, so. By the way, calling him uh, Mark in that uh, interview was brilliant because <laughs> it just I, that's the one thing that really made me laugh in that. It's like Undertaker, Undertaker, the undead, this, that, the other thing. It's like. Oh yeah, Mark, and I was just laughing like, "Oh, that fucking—that's a screw turner right there, <laughs> Mark." <laughs> I just thought it was shitty timing. It's like you know, a guy loses a real match. I mean, it was—it was—it was you know the heavyweight championship, and uh, to pull some shit like that on the way yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's not your fucking. I don't it's even not your know show. why he was there, really. It's not so. your show, Lias. Yeah, yeah, I guess he I likes like, MMA though. He's been to a few. Yeah, he he does, and 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 I used to. I used to, you know, hang out. I mean, I'm a, we're acquaintances. Everybody, you know, I don't, I don't keep in touch with anybody from from there. You know, it's mm -hmm. all, um, you know, you, you keep your friends close and your enemies close in that <laughs> business, and, and so it just is what it is. Is it, it a very backstabbing not, kind of business? I think I still got some knives. In <laughs> <laughs> well, there has uh, to be a certain amount, of, and you brought it up, a certain amount of jealousy as far as the fact that look. You're in MMA. You're very popular. I mean, you're one of the faces of MMA. And a lot of those guys could never do what you do. Yet, at the drop of a hat, you could always just go back and do what they do. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, here's the beauty of what I've been able to do is because of... I've been able to pave my way because uh, of who I am, of the, you know, my amateur background and, and whatnot. But when you're in that business, uh, it, the guy that's... Uh, stroking the pencil is is in charge. Hmm. I'm in charge of my own destiny in, in this in this game that I'm doing. And uh, when you're working for a company like that, you're not. Is that why you mm -hmm. wanted to leave? Well, I I left for a number of different reasons, and 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 uh, you know I, I I'm here to promote the Ultimate Fighter that mm -hmm. is, is right. airing tonight, and also uh, I I got a tell-all book that's coming out May 24th. And oh so, shit! <laughs> so. <clears throat> I go into I go into why uh, why why I decided to leave the company and, and there was some some other reasons. Because MMA is harder. I mean, it's like <laughs> oh, not that wrestling isn't a grind, but MMA you're really being hit ha a lot harder than you're getting hit in wrestling. In the face, I mean, guys like Shane. First of all, Shane Carwin, how did you survive <laughs> that? R I couldn't believe. I, that you this, kept I got a, I got a head like a like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I have other yeah. things like a horse. <laughs> oh, you, ass. You, <laughs> you brushed over one thing. He's a, he's a true athlete, and yeah. you know MMA is a real sport. I mean, the wrestling thing is entertainment. So he he probably felt the competitive edge, and you wanted to get into the fighting. Yeah, I mean, it was just uh, the time. I, I wasn't built for the road. I wasn't yeah. built for being on the road 300 days a year mm. you know it wasn't uh, it wasn't for me they kill you we, we've had a lot of you uh well i mean now you a lot talk. of you guys no i meant a lot of you guys yeah. no i meant i meant wrestlers we're friends yeah. with a lot of the guys and that's the one thing that comes up a lot it's like the grind will kill you yeah it's a grind so when you're fighting i gotta say too because i watched the Kane fight was really uh i was surprised he, he beat you i know you were obviously surprised 
Did he hurt you with an? There was an elbow. It looked like he hit you with that was inadvertent. It didn't look like he meant to do it. I don't know why I had to explain inadvertent. You know, <laughs> mean, like, fuck, I don't play Say a word and then. Um, we inadvertently uh, hired him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inadvertent is something you say when you come too fast. No, that was inadvertent. I apologize. And pay for the cleaning. Um, so did uh, did he hit you with an elbow that kind of it looked like right before he he pounced on you? He hit you with an elbow. Well, I've reviewed the fight um, quite a bit, and the thing that um, the thing that I that we picked up is <clears throat> there was a a scramble that we got into an exchange. Uh, where then he shot in and uh, took me down. I was able to get back up to my feet, and there was just a, a left. I don't know if it's a, a, a an uppercut or a hook that catches me right mm. on the, right on the button, and uh, that's where I end up uh, spinning, lose my equilibrium, and then <clears throat> we get into another scramble. He hits me with a knee, which pretty much takes uh, now puts me on the on the street that I that I. <sighs> Mm. On, on the cool street. Yeah. <laughs> did you know when you got hit with the uh, uppercut, <clears throat> d does it flash to your mind like, oh shit, I'm in trouble? Oh shit. Yeah. 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 You, yeah, you know when you're when, when you can't when your mind is telling your body to do something, uh, it's not reacting. That's a shitty place to be. And you know he's not in that position. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> he's, so I, you better just uh, you're looking for for exit stage left. To sure. Get your bearings. Damn back, man. man. When you tapped when when Mir, I mean when you first fought Frank Mir, it was obviously it was one like you were new. So the, he got it was something that an experienced guy would get a newer guy with. I mean. Yeah, he got me in a fair, fair and square knee bar, but I think. Um, I gave that I gave that fight to him. I stepped right in for it, and it was just foolish. We had known, and I had trained for for that, and uh, for me to actually do it. That's why it was mm. there was a lot of anger when I uh, when, for the rematch for me. There was a lot because you trained just for that situation. Well, I, yeah, we did. You know, and we, when it happened, you're probably like, "What did I do?" Like, Fuck. It was like it was like I was in drilling, and I was like <laughs> stepping in and giving a guy it. my leg so I could get out of it. <laughs> yeah. and I did, you know. <laughs> Oh shit! So it was like, like oh, dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rock's man. Funny, man. Do you do you dislike me or no? Because it seems like you hated him. I I don't I didn't dislike him as a person. Nonetheless, I just more disliked him because he beat me. Is there that thing? Like after a fight, when you get beat, I mean, do you feel differently about the person? And and is it personal or strictly professional? You know, <clears throat> once you get over the the. the Especially if you win, then hmm. it's like turn the page. I'm on to the next. Right, game. right, yeah, yeah, yeah so, sure. Yeah. But you know, we forget about that. And, and but now, when you lose, those for me, anyways, those things haunt me until I mm. can seek revenge. Now, when you do get a rematch, uh, do you do you look at what happened when you lost and and say? I mean, obviously, you're going to say, I'm not going to let that happen again. But uh, do you train differently to, to, to so it doesn't happen again? Is there Absolutely. something different in your training? Yeah, you, you always want to, you know, capitalize and, and, and do the best and, and be better and, and fix your mistakes, obviously. And mentally, is there anything different when you go into a rematch that you lost that you're like, oh, fuck, this guy did beat me last time? Is, is it harder? No, no. No? I don't, not, for me, it's not. I mean, I, I, don't, I haven't lost a lot in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, I know I mean, that. You know, so, but I mean, the, the losses that I do, that I have suffered are painful to me, you know. I, I've got a loss uh, in... in in 1999, at the NCAA tournament against a guy by the name of Stephen Neal, who who plays now for I think he still plays for the Patriots, but um, those those are that's a loss that, that sticks with you for a long Jeez. time, and, and you know prevented me from becoming a, a, a NCAA champion. And I had to, you know, of course the next year I was, but then you know Frank Muir and, and now Kane Velasquez, and so yeah, those are. Yeah, why are we talking about him getting his ass kicked? Well, no, How about his victories, goddammit? Well, no, 